our buddy. That? I don't know where our buddy Thacko the Clown is. I don't know where he is, but he's not here anymore. Um, well, I mean, he, we'll still drag him through the party. He's a he's a great meat shield. Well, um, and he's still alive. More importantly, he, he's only taken two hit points damage. So he has. I only yeah. taken two hit points. Good. He's only he's, he's only down two. That's cool. Well, part of the problem is, um, uh, I don't know. Like all of a sudden, he's just out of the loop as far as communication. I haven't heard anything from him, so I don't know what's the deal. But yeah. Okay. Mm. Well. We'll save a spot for him. Hopefully oh, wait. There's a text you. coming through right here. God. Let me see. What's this say? When he steps uh, in. Don't read this out loud. I hate Mike. I don't want to play anymore because Mike sucks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Chuck that is, old bag. Chuck is horrible. Yeah, uh, he'll, he'll get over it. Whatever you do, don't read this out loud. Don't let anybody know how I feel. Yeah. We'll keep this between us, okay? All right. <laughs> hey, can I Can I? Can I take a second and respond to this? Yeah. Dear no. Mick, I feel the same way about both those guys. They annoy me so much. I don't. <laughs> but I don't have any friends, so, so I guess yeah. I, this is it. <laughs> Imagine if that's really what it's. What that, guy. that guy is. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's sort of funny when you're uh, um, trying to organize things, like. Mike ran in and I ran into this a whole lot, but the idea behind it was like, you just got to keep going. We just kind of like, you know, people come and go. You got to keep playing. So, in the wake. All right. So, you got your meat shield, Thacko, the Thacko, yep. and you got everyone else ready to go here. This will be fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is an interesting. You are right now uh, in a hallway. I left you in a hallway. I don't know if you remember the whole, you, I, you know how you got there, right? You came out of a, if I yeah. screwed up a little bit, you had a carpeted area that you were at. Went through Pillsbury. Pillsbury. Yeah, oh, Pillsbury. no, no, Pillsbury. Yeah, Pillsbury. Yeah, Pillsbury was hiding up here. There he is. Yeah, I'm, I'm right hiding. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's hiding. Go away. He's hiding. Mike Scott, go away. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's where you guys are. You're now. Uh, All right. And smart. we opened up the door and we got like this magic blessing and all our heal points, hit points are healed and we're ready to go. Right. That was not you know, yet. <laughs> but you, you do have a choice of sure, either. I'm pretty sure we got a staff of wizardry. Uh, yeah. That's <laughs> You got two choices. You got one choice: is to stay where you are, not move at all, or move in this direction. Uh, we're gonna move in that direction. Okay. Um, yeah. But I if think you, you come I, to I a think... T then, if that's if, the, if that's your modus operandi. Because yeah, because we're because uh, Pillsbury told us that the boss or whatever was was south, right? Yeah, is that uh, I believe he. I believe that's what he told you. Yeah, that's what he said. Right. So yeah, you could either go uh, down or keep going straight or something like that. I have no idea what you'd like to do. So um I'm open to whatever, Mike. I mean I, I I'm I no I, yeah, I think going south is great, but I think we should definitely start checking for traps. This is a very thieving okay. guild kind of place. Um I got a feeling that the traps are gonna get a little bit more dangerous. Okay. Okay, uh so when you start walking down this hallway, you see uh broken pieces of mirror like fastened to the wall affixed to the wall here and as you look down this way you guys are all dark visioned so you notice that there's all this reflective quality going this way and as well as going down does my dwarven ability to detect um like traps and stuff and stonework help here Do yeah I actually it, it's pretty easy for you to transgress you just realize one thing when doing it if you were trying to run through this area you might have a problem but right now you don't have a problem because you're not running but if you had to run from something you may be in some trouble because the mirrors are really playing a mess with your mind right now but right now you're you're kind of casual you're not being chased that you know of right so yeah you're fine right now I kind of whisper. I, I think we keep our eyes on the ground. <laughs> Look at the ground, not the wall. Ah, <laughs> ah yes. And, and you have one or two choices here at this point. Oh my yeah. gosh, I got my. Um, you're gonna like this, but I have. Uh, I, I'm back downstairs because I was upstairs because the girls were watching a movie. So I can do this to you now because you're gonna love that, right? Um, <laughs> and you don't. You have no idea what I'm doing, so then I get to do this a little bit, and then. Uh, Go back to this. Okay. All right. Cool. This is awesome. I love it. <laughs> this is my right. adjusting map. Adjusting map. That's, that's so good. That's so good. Uh, you got that. You got really mad about the, not that one. Was it that one? 
Oh, no, it was a swamp thing. It was fine. It was just no, like which one that says just a map? map, which should be like death awaits. And I love this picture for some reason. Oh, that's just, cool. Yeah, 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 no, but, yeah, I like it. Okay, I'm gonna leave it that one because whenever we have to go to it, you know, it's annoying. But it was, uh, yeah. Right now, everything seems to be kind of fine. Obviously, you're gonna go south here. Yeah. How, gonna, uh, what is our I think, go, order? Go, I think we're gonna go west. A marching order. We're going well, to yeah. Down or that, go, that goes way in front. That goes way in front. Oh, really? That's so good <laughs> for the thief. Let's put the, let's put the big dude in front. So yeah. is he? Is he that way? You going that way? Not down. Yeah, I thought yeah, we're going yeah. to. Yeah. Do... You, oh, you, you want, want to go south? Yeah, I want to go south. Okay. All right. All right we're going to go south. All right. So that goes in front. I guess you're who's going up. I will for you bring up the rear. Sure. Why not? Okay, as you transverse down, you can see where this is going. It's kind of a mess and a half, right? Right, and as you come down, you eventually get to uh, ooh another passageway, either going that way or that way. Ooh, you get choices, right? So I'll pull it down to here so you can see what you're doing. One or two places you can go. Wow, choices, choices, choices. Keep in mind, there's broken mirrors all over the place, and there's some full ones now. You're starting to see full-size mirrors, so you're starting to see parts of your own reflection now. Shimmering back at you. Ooh. Yikes. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. Um, is there anywhere where the mirrors look less or they look like they're getting more? Nah, it looks like, you know, yeah, they're there now. Yeah, they're all over all the walls now at this point, at least in this region. So, would you like to go to the, uh, I guess we're going east or we're going south? The south looks I'm like it picks up then. Yeah, I'm fine with whatever, Mike. Um, yeah, let's just keep going south. I mean, okay. All right. So Thacko's leading the way. You come to what appears to be a bend. Okay. okay. You tell Thacko right. to, go, to go down that way. Which way? This way? Yeah. Okay. So as you guys are now moving in the direction of your intent. And we tell uh, him to look into the mirrors as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You come to something looks like this. Uh no. Straight down, what are you doing? I guess what down, Mike? Yeah, because it ends right. All right. Um, well, I, I Sorin, can you go check for uh secret door at the end of that thing? <laughs> oh, okay, so yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's let's see if you find something. What's your odds? Uh, one to four and a d6. Here all right, so come. you're like, well, here I got it, I got it. So, uh, you're feeling all around, you actually don't notice anything. But the mirrors are sort of disconcerting because they always seem to be broken right where your face is, and so your face looks really distorted, kind of creepy. Okay, so no matter which way I look, it's always well, there's always someone looking at you, and they got a line going through their face. It's you. Do I look good? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, your charisma's what now? Because you got like a one three. three. For a long time. <laughs> yeah, that was a traumatic experience. But yeah, yes. thank you. <laughs> but you're better now. Everything's better now, right? Everybody loves everybody now, all right? All right. Well, I mean, it's not like a mummy bug thing at this point. So let's keep That's looking. right. We're not being attacked. So let's just, you know, not look into it too much. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so Thacko moving down. He sees yeah. a door. There you go. Okay. All right. Okay. So, well, uh, I, I, I will check the door uh, and listen at it as well as check it for traps. Yeah. All right. So uh, give yourself a healthy roll here. What's it? 57 to beat? 57? Yeah. Uh, uh, roll it. Here. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, I got 95. So, okay. That's a no. I, That's yeah. a no. All right. It's it. For you, it just seems like a normal door. In fact, you're pretty surprised there would not be a trap on this thing. Okay, um, so I, I just I just look at the door. I mean, is there, do I see anything just from looking at it? No, you just see like it's just a normal door. There's nothing special about it, right? Okay. Can Wolfred look to see if I see that string thing again? Uh, uh, you don't see a string thing. Okay. Well, nah, you don't see it at all. Well, I'm still going to duck as I walk through. <laughs> yeah, agreed. <laughs> so who's going in first? 
Oh, uh, who am I kidding? Thacko's going. Thacko, in. Thacko's <laughs> going in first. Who else would go in first? Push that guy in the room. It was. Uh, yeah, he. Uh, the door's not locked. He opens the door, and it's this really interesting room. It's a triangle shape. Whoa, go back here. Triangle oh, shape room. Trapless boy, mean, almost now. Try it's triangle shape. It goes like that. This, 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 this. Oh, they got a door over on that side. Got a bed down here. Uh, a brief description of the room. It's a lavish triangle-shaped chamber dressed in silks, tassels, and a plush bed at the bottom. <laughs> that little short table right there has something sitting on it. It's an open music box. All right. Oh. There uh -huh. is there is um three insect drip corpses sitting around that table. So I guess I should put them on there so you get a visual of what's going on here. So okay. here's one, and I'll make him. Whoop, I gotta. Okay. So Mike, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, we have to put the golden scare yeah. back into the music box, right? We do, and and in that description, and these were these are corpses. Yeah, covered in insects. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One corpse still has lock picks in its hand for some reason. I mean, they're just kind of dangling out of the bottom of their hand on the table. Um, and it's, one of the lock picks is still jammed into the music box's lock. I'm feeling very blessed to be in the top kitchen. So if we take the lock box, we may disturb the bugs. Okay. Um, so what you notice, the carpet's like really kind of weird. It has like this cool sheen to it. it you can't even really tell it's carpet. It's just got this cool kind of wave to it almost it's not really shag because it's it, it's just strange looking shag to it uh, i guess you guys gotta be in a room to see this right so there's, there's a carpet that's kind of covering the bottom of the the area around where that table is it's really kind of interesting yeah i'm going to um put my hand on the carpet and i'm going to command the carpet to rise okay all right so when you put your hand on the carpet yeah Making a coconut pastry cream tart with coffee. <laughs> we are in this spot. Uh, when you put before you knew it, like all these insects come running up underneath your plate mail armor, right underneath your arm, up into your oh. armor suit. I hate when that happens. <laughs> it's like, in fact, what you thought was Shishim was the caprices, carapaces of all the insects just kind of rolling about. So it gave the illusion of kind of like a carpet, but it was not a carpet. This whole it's area is a giant swarm of insects all over the ground. Oh, so, my God. No, it's like really gross. So, yeah, just go for it. Anyways, um, I, 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 oh, God. Oh. Okay, okay. I, I, I hop onto that desk. I, uh, Tori <laughs> just jumps off the desk. You got to do a uh, – I'm going to try to find your proper saving throw at this point. Sure. Because – you're either going to do one of two things. Well, number one. A dexterity check. It's not a dexterity check because they crawled up underneath you. Either Wait, even me? Even me too? I, you know, I'm talking no. about the Williford there. Williford. It's, it's, oh. it's, 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 but it's all right. I'm a dwarf. I got a hefty constitution. They're just yeah. bugs. Exactly. So, so I'm going to take a. Uh, I'm gonna take your saving three, saving throw. I, I think I'm gonna pick the one versus uh, staves or spells. I, probably paralyzation. That's probably gonna be the one that is most fitting for your situation. Right. I gotta but get over an eight. You gotta get over an eight. Well, yeah. that's pretty good. If you beat an eight, yeah, <laughs> you're fine. If you don't beat an eight, you're gonna rip your armor off. Because it's gross having bugs crawling all over your chest. Yes, it is. And <laughs> so I'm just letting you know that's what I'm with going with it. Go ahead. Well, I didn't roll an eight. Um, okay, good. I rolled a four. What? I rolled a four. So okay, yeah, you I'm get ready to, to remove my armor. <laughs> yeah, because there's bugs all up inside you. You're like, oh my god, they're all over me. It's like kind of creeping you out. So you're ripping off your armor while this is going off, and um. Obviously, at this point, ah, they start to swarm the room. So now we're going to do like an initiative roll to find out what's happening. Wilford's tied up with trying to take his armor off over in the corner. 
So yeah. I rolled a three. What did you roll? I guess I guess I'd be sorry, and you're up against this thing. I don't know what you're oh, gonna yeah. do. I rolled a one. Are you serious? Well, you guys are really striking out on this mission. It was so uh this is great. Um the whole thing starts to congregate. Start off you're right. starting off slow, starts to congregate together and build up That's until right. what appears to be this no armed mummy looking thing, right? Oh, oh we've seen her before. We're all friends by this point. We're all friends, we know who we are, right? And uh it is now gonna try to make an attack. The first thing he's gonna do is <laughs> he's gonna try to bomb it. Uh, poor Wilford's all tied up on stuff. He's going to jump on top of Thacko and try to vomit into his mouth. Now, this is a little serious in a couple bug bites. Let's see if Thacko survives this. Uh, he is going to survive. He's going to miss the hit. He's going to dodge the situation, roll to the side, and get behind Wilford, who's taking off his armor. I got to drop a big thing. Right. This thing's really big right here. Let's make him like a, well, let's try to make him this side. There we go. That sounds about right. He's fairly large. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I guess it'd be your turn. He he did not do what he wanted. So sorry, and I guess you're up. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's right in front of me, correct? Mm -hmm. Hide okay. back stuff. Uh, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I am going to hide in shadows right before him. <laughs> <laughs> right in front of him. No. <laughs> shadows right in front. Yeah, of him. I'm gonna hide in the shadows. <laughs> it's not it's gonna work. Stand in front of you. Well, I don't care. I was just kidding. It's not gonna work. You're in <laughs> combat. <laughs> You're in combat. No. Oh, you gotta, you gotta hide before he shows up. Like, it's like you're like a burglar that already broke in, and the cops are there. You're like, okay, now I'm gonna go hide over here when people already saw me. <laughs> That's awesome. But, yeah. Well, I, I I just figured I would just declare it, see what happens. Okay. Anyway. Okay. You um, try. You try. I'm not arguing with. That. I thought it was a kind of a good move. Run out the door. Out the door. <laughs> no. Run out the door. Close it. And say, wow. I'm glad I'm not in there. <laughs> Daco, you take care. Of okay. This. So so listen. I uh sorry <clears throat> to go and jump on the desk. Okay. And, uh, he's gonna aim his crossbow. Okay. Because that's and he's gonna fire a shot at this thing. All right. Scoot away, my yeah. friend. Okay, I hit. Uh, arm, well, I roll a sixteen. Armor class is negative two, so I assume that's. A Ooh, hit. that would be a big hit. Yes, sir. And let's see. Sorry, I Bob. Five points of damage with my nice. crossbow. Okay. All right. So okay. We, we've already defeated this thing twice. Defeated. Well, we oh poor choice of words, right, John? We, is that we, what you're saying? I, I the way you said that, man, I got rid of it. Dispersed it twice. Yes, you did. Yes. Okay. We dispersed Fair it twice. Okay, dispersed. twenty-two. Five, five. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Cool. All right. What's Thacko? Well, Thacko he ran to the other side, but Thacko gets to take a turn. Like, Wilford, you get to take a turn on this thing. Oh, so um, well, Thacko. I'll let Thacko go first. Um, um. Well, he's gonna swing with his. He's got a big. Does he like a double-handed sword or something like that? I don't know. Yeah, he's got a big weapon. Yeah, he's got two-handed sword. Yeah, one d ten plus five. Yes. Oh, nice. Um, you get the plus five to his. That goes fifteen. That's why we. Yeah, call yes, that goes right. fifteen. So, so, so he. I, I rolled a twelve, so he would have hit armor class of three. I would hit this thing. Go ahead. Yeah. Nice. Um. Oh, beautiful. I rolled a nine. Nine plus five, 14 points of damage. Okay, cool. God, Mick is just doing awesome. He's, he does better when he's not here. <laughs> he's, he's horrible. He's, who says those kind of... We do. Anyways, uh, he's just tearing this thing apart. All right. All right. So he, he jumps over. He cuts like his sword right through this thing. And it just splits apart into... Three distinct little mounds when it does this. So this will be interesting to play. Boom. Okay. And at that point in time, uh, it, all the bugs that still remain disperse into these three skeletons that are covered in bugs. Yeah. And they start to rise up, obviously being animated by the bugs. Gotcha. All right, Wilford. So, um... I can do something now. Um, well, 
the armor class is half off. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So I it's kind of like blue light special on the armor class. It's kind of partially. I mean, your armor class has been rendered less. What was your armor class normally? Two? It was a two. It was. Well, let's make it a let's make it a currently like a, a five because of your pulled the arm parts off and whatever like that because of what's going on. But now you're in a battle, you're like the heck with this. Let's Perfectly let's make it happen. Yeah, I just um I'm not liking bugs. I'm going to so now there's three of these these things. Yes, there's three of them. Yeah. All right. Um Warhammer to I'm going to go to the one that's the furthest to the south. All right. Go for it. So you run up? Yeah. Clobber, clobber. Go. And well, that's all I do is I run up because I rolled a three. So, um... <laughs> okay. Fair enough. All right. So this little guy that's on Wilford, he's going to go obviously first here. Let's. Uh... Okay. Uh, I don't think it's even going to hit. Yeah. Hit armor class of three. Well, that would hit me now. Okay. All right. So, uh, five. Yeah. So this thing reaches out, puts his hands on it, and a whole bunch of insects now because he grabs your breastplate of your armor and lifts it. And when he does this thing, all these bugs run in and go up underneath your breast and start just biting and stinging your chest. Oh, my doing God. Like, doing like three hit points of the damage. I mean, they're like gnawing at your flesh, ripping out. Junk. You know those green-headed flies? I don't know if you ever had those things by your oh, head. Uh, they're taking out chunks of your flesh. Very irritating. But nah, John, I'm on the patch, okay? Doctor's orders. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Yeah. No thanks. <laughs> no, he, told me, he, told, he told me to stay away from that stuff. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. This would this would climbs upon the table trying to go after Sorian. Sorian, I hope to God you don't get hurt. With it, but you did get hurt really bad. Hit arm class is zero. So I think that's going to be what that no, is. I got arm class of negative one. You do? No. Oh. <laughs> I <laughs> wish what? I did. Though, how, did it, how did that happen? Special <laughs> armor. This thing grabs out your leather, opens when he grabs to your chest, tries to pull open your chest. Just bugs just all start climbing down the arms and trying to jump into your armor. Once again, doing three hit points of damage, trying to bite like anything it looks looks like flesh, trying to suck the, the blood off of you, right? This uh this third one that you see over here, what's your armor? What are you down as far as hit points, Sorian? Um, I'm at 13. Okay, good. All right. This third one, of course, is is going to make his way over to Thacko and try the same silliness. Damn. Every one of you guys has gotten hit. He's going to go down th uh, two hit points. So he's the same down four? He, he was down two, so he's down four. <laughs> he's down two more. Yeah. Okay. It's all right. Okay. He's still up 26. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and it's now officially your turn. All right. Okay. Um, um, good. Good, Mike. I I yell out, "Find the gold locket!" But yeah, but but you but you swing first. You're you have the higher highest decks. Go for it. Okay. All right. So I will. I I say I uh, I will not try to stone my crossbow. I will just drop it and okay. uh, and pull out my long sword and and slash at the uh, whatever this is in front of me. Cool. Okay, uh, let's see here. And, John, as I do this, after I slash it, can I try to kick it off the, the, the table? Sure, let's see how good you do. Go ahead. Okay, I see. I hit an armor class of four. Okay, you're definitely going to be able to slash it. Kicking it's going to be a different story. If you hit more like an armor class at zero, I was going to let you kick the dang thing. But anyways, uh, yeah, you hit it. Go ahead, do some damages. See what you do. I rolled maximum eight plus one, nine okay. damage. All right. You drop this thing into a pile of bones right off the side. So I guess you didn't need to kick it, right? Okay, it falls cool. onto the ground and all the bugs go scurrying off into the carpeted like area, right? So that's kind of what you're what you're looking at. So yeah, it's a kind of a mess. A combat um, thief. There you go, buddy. All right. Man, so combat thief. <laughs> Thacko. I guess you want to run Thacko. Yeah, no, Chuck could do Thacko this time. Go for it. Okay, cool. 
Okay, so yeah, so Thacko, um, yeah, he'll pull out, or I guess he's already got his two hand sword, and he will swing. Yeah, he's got the, the same thing. sword. Yeah. Okay, so he has an armor class of zero. You rolled a fifteen. Right. He's got Thacko cool. at fifteen, right? All right, he nailed that thing. We'll do some. So uh, a, is it D ten, right? D ten plus five. I rolled an eight, so thirteen. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, he cut this thing completely. And uh, this thing hits the ground. Boom. So in this mass of bugs, <laughs> does Wolfred see anything that's golden? Yeah. But he has to take care of the guy in front of him. I got you. I got you. Yeah. My but guess would probably be the little tiny dot I keep pushing all over the screen, but that's yeah. just me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> like, uh, it could be that little dot I keep moving right there on the screen. <laughs> this little thing I keep moving around. That little maybe, thing. Maybe that, the that, little that, bug. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't that know. That could be it. Um, all right. Yeah. Well, I, I'm pretty yeah. sure that I hit because I rolled a 15. Um, okay. Yeah, that would hit armor class one. So, okay, cool. um, and then I rolled a, well, I rolled three, but I get a plus. So I did six points of damage. Okay, that's going to kill this thing, too. It's just a skeleton being held together by sinew, and you just dropped it, and insects fall to the ground. Yeah, there's still bugs all over the place. This thing's buzzing on the ground right here. I Moving oh, about. Okay, uh, well, one, well, we got to dive for that thing. Or, I know. You guys, <laughs> this, I don't is know. this is going to be some fancy dex rolls. All right. Who who are my players in this game called Catch the Bug? <laughs> <laughs> well, the thief would go first, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're gonna see if you catch it. What's your what is your dexterity, my friend? Chuck well, we disappeared. Lost, we lost Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Where's Chuck? So Chuck got a 12. <laughs> I tried to make the highest roll the winner okay. on this one, and it looks like uh, the cleric was able to get this thing with the 20. Um, oh. Yeah. So right. uh, you're the one closest to it anyways. I guess. So you jump, pounce, and grab that little golden bug. Yeah. Okay. What are you going to do now? Oh, I'm going to uh, race over to the box. Okay. And um, with Sorian's help, I'm okay. going to put the bug in the box. Oh, wait a minute. You didn't say you're taking the bug with you, so you let it go. All right, now yeah, we're no, I said I'm, I'm putting I'm the bug kidding. in the box. Mike, I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm just joking. Why else would you go that route? I'm just <laughs> That's well, a hardcore just... DM right there, Mike. He never That's hardcore. You hardcore. never mentioned you're taking the bug with you. I'm just kidding. Was, uh, yeah. well, here's the thing. There's a lockpick stuck in the thing, in the box, right? Yeah. Can um So when I, can I put the bug in and close the lid and hold it down? And so Sorian can lock it again. Yeah, so he's got to do uh, the whole unlock trap thing here to get yeah. this open. And what are you? You're a half. I don't know. He got exorbitant scores on this. Hold for a second. Wait, let me see something for a second. For you to. I mean, hold on, wait. Wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait, wait for, for it. it. Wait for it. This is to open a lock. Your fourth level. Yeah, dude, I'm the man, okay? 60%. So are you gonna see, I see 35% on my chart. No, remember, remember, look, remember Chris Gonerman released the revised percentiles, right? In the uh the lakeside supplement. Oh, that's right. Plus, I remember you plus, asked me plus, to use that's right. I'm sorry, go ahead. Right. Plus my bonuses as an elf. Okay, go ahead. 60%. Okay. All right, here it comes. See if you coming can at fix you. a lock on this. Point, so. All right, coming at you live and in person. Below 60. Okay, here we go. A 61. <laughs> what did you roll? What did you roll? A 99. <laughs> oh, good God. So you got the thing, and it you can't get it to latch, but you're holding the thing, and, and the the little beetle's just jamming around inside the box. You can tell it's like very, very mad. It's trying to transform. So it's like in this vicious fight. Wolfram, and all his spikes holding this thing down. He yells for Thacko to help. 
Yes. We're only going over here. Oh, being guys a thief are, is so hard. Hooting and hollering at that point in time, popping through this door. There's a Pillsbury. <laughs> I'm trying to hide. <laughs> fish guts. There, there comes a skeleton wearing a helmet that says fish guts. It's got no teeth. Lovely. Like, do you look friendly? Well, probably not. You gonna it's talk funny. to? Yeah. Um, we're gonna say, uh, we need you to, uh, fix this lock. Skeleton Fish just guts, looks, help us. Skeleton just looks at you. And we wave him over. Come on, help us. Uh, the skeleton turns and walks back out the door. Okay. Uh, fish guts. We need your help, buddy. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I, I, I run out there and I grab him and I say, "What? we need your help. Get back in here. <laughs> and I just tell him that. I say, we need your help now. So this big tooth, obviously you know something strange about the skeleton. Not only does it have no teeth, it has no hands. It just has these sticks. It just kind of hits you. Back and forth, and it, like no it just arm, kind of, like like the mummy. No, but it has no hands. I mean, it's got arms, it's got no hands, but it just oh. kind of like just does this and just tries to walk away while you grab onto it. Okay, so I I I I, I grab him and I pull him into the room. You're coming with me, Mister. <laughs> you're, pulling, you're pulling the skeleton in the room. Yeah. So he's got this helmet with written fish guts on the top of it, whatever that is. Hmm. Yeah, well, Mike, you're really good with those. With this, yeah, I don't. Well, there was something in the beginning of this adventure about fish guts. It was written yeah. on the wall, right? I don't remember what it was now, though. Um, something about fish guts, but oh, we need to keep this thing closed. Um, yeah, you two guys both are. Your time is occupied holding this thing closed. You and Thacko here. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can have him maybe sit on the lid, and you two guys find a way to keep this thing closed. Well, Th yeah, Thacko is going to sit, sit on the lid, and I know for a fact that I have four feet of rope. Um, okay. That's all I have. I <laughs> got <laughs> <laughs> four feet of rope. Four okay. feet of rope. <laughs> um, so I can, I can tie this thing up. But I don't know if that's he might he might break through or that. Um, yeah, we need to lock this thing. Um, well, I just say if you think about it, like you had a thick rope trying to wrap around a music box. Yeah, I know. I don't yeah. know how that's going to work. So I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, no, Thacko's going to sit on it for now. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, Fish goes. Fish goes. Tries to walk back out the door. No, no, I, I pull him back in here. I said, no, 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 you ain't going nowhere there, Pimo Sabi. <laughs> well. Well, does fish yeah, guts... right here with me, and I, I just I start like doing a dosey do with him. Yeah, he's well, does right fish with guts us. know where the um where a lock is? Maybe he's gonna lead us to a lock. Yeah. I don't know. We, yeah, we said to him, fish guts. Do you know where the, a lock is? He just starts to walk back out towards the door. Well, let's well let's well, let's follow. Yeah, let's follow. Him. Yeah, let's follow. Him. Okay. We'll leave Thacko here to sit on the box. Uh, Thacko's there sitting on the box. All right. Well, uh, going at the speed of plot, Fish got Fish got walks, 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 and goes back all the way up to the room where Pillsbury is. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna say, "Hey, Pillsbury, we need you." Go away! I'm hiding. No, 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 no. <laughs> we caught the golden. We caught the golden scarab. It's in the no, box. No, 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 no one can hear it. No one can catch it. No one can catch it. They no, opened that we, stupid box. And that's how all this happened. It's in the box. We just need you to lock the box. No, I don't know. Uh, wait, what do you mean? You already caught it? Yes, and it's in the box. No, it, no, no, you didn't. No, I don't think you caught it. Pillsbury, what did, what did have it look I ever like? lied to you? Have what, I ever what, lied to you? What did it look like? What? Explain it to me. I explain exactly what it looks like, the golden scarab, and how it transformed into three things. And when we we defeated it, and we caught it, we put it in the box, and it's struggling to get out right now. 
Oh, okay, I'll come down here. Let's take a look at it. So he decides to come down and join you to see what's and going does, on. Right, does so. Fish Guts come with us, the skeleton? Yes, Fish, but Fish Guts is going to walk it off, right? Yeah, he's coming with you guys, right? So, yeah, so he comes down. Da, 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 da. Here we go. So he's on his way. He's on his way. Fish Guts is following, obviously. And he goes, it looks like you've met Fish Guts. He's our mascot. <laughs> he's your mascot. Yes, right. fish guts. He can't do anything. He has no hands, nor does he have any teeth. Did you see his helmet? It says fish guts all over the top of it. <laughs> He's been our friend for quite some time, fish guts. Well, he was very helpful. Yeah, well, let me fantastic. see this. Let me see this box. That's what he says. Yeah, we show him the box that Thacko's sitting on. Well, that is the box. How do I know the bug is in the box? Don't you see it I'm trying to get out? He could just have gas. Uh, fix the damn lock. <laughs> so he turns right, he starts looking at it. Uh, uh, Pillsbury's a low level thief. So the odds of him passing this is 35%. Who's rolling it? Um, I'll roll it. Go for it. <laughs> Go ahead. Go for it. 35. Okay, 35%. Okay. All right. All right, here we go. Eighty-four. Uh, he goes, it's beyond me. I don't know what I'm doing. And I slap out his head. Guys, I give me that thing. Bill's really know what you're doing. Um <laughs> All right. Um, and I'll neither. <laughs> so we need some way of locking this thing. Um, oh my god. Um, because John, obviously, I, I I can't keep I can't try again. Correct. Oh, the the lock is beyond you. So this is beyond yeah. you, and it's beyond Pillsbury. I don't know what you guys plan yeah. on doing it with it's all like right. this. So, so all right. So we asked Pillsbury. Do you have any other ideas? Um, yeah, or Sarah, I didn't expect anybody to catch the bug. I didn't know we'd get this far. <laughs> <laughs> then, then he says, uh, was it metal? Yeah, the, there was, it was gold. It was a golden beetle. So it's all made out of gold or was it just golden colored? Oh, I don't know. I, it, it felt like it was gold. Oh. So it's probably enchanted. Oh, so if we had a, if we passed, well, but we don't have a magic user. Um, well, we can find something really heavy to put on top of it. Like, um, why does this seem so, like such a bad idea? <laughs> <laughs> I just switched my whole family. Well, or it's just holding it shut. Ever. And it's only thirty-five dollars a line. Not that you're cracking. If you don't understand how we're gonna. Thirty-five dollars a line. Your family now gets fifty bucks. Well, right. Unless, unless we put some kind of heavy object on it. Um, maybe we could bury it. Um. Am Where? I like the only one alive? Where's the rest of the Apple Gang crew? Uh, I think you're it. Yeah, you're, you're it, but you're, you're in charge. You're in charge. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't think I don't think there is an Apple Gang crew any, anymore. This buddy. is the worst ideas I've ever come up with. I don't know who you people are, and I'm trying to help you squash a golden bug. I have no idea what to do. Well, why did you? Where did you get the golden bug from? Well. It, well, it was in a big lead coffin, the music box, and they took it out. And okay, well, so is what if we put this in the lead coffin? In a lead coffin, is that like heavy? Is it like will it shut and be solid? I I don't know. It's suppose it pushes it open. Suppose right now it can't do anything because it's in beetle form. Yeah. But if you put it in the coffin, it can get bigger. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think, 
think we have to figure out. Um, well, it's a music box, right? So it's a metal latch. Uh, there's like a little lock on the outside. So what we're looking for is if, we just need the key to lock it. There's got to be a key somewhere. Maybe they couldn't find it, but maybe you could find a key. Um. Well, it's metal, right? I'm a dwarf. Can I do something with it? <laughs> Can I try locking it? I. Uh, from a DM point of view, you'd have to roll like a 19 or a 20. You could try it. Roll it. What's try? I don't know. Try? You get a 19 or a 20. A 19 or a 20. I'm just going to try to. I'm not trying to unlock it. I'm trying to lock it. Yeah. Jam it closed. That's okay. a no. <laughs> you, would, you would have screamed otherwise. Right? Yeah, it did not roll a 19 or a 20. I can see a 19 on the dice, but I didn't. It's not. Oh, so no. All right. Darn it. Um. Well, I think. Um, that shoe pastry is absolutely spot on. Yeah, shoe, I. Shoe is superb. I'm just so happy to be. Maybe we find another thief that's alive. Um, <laughs> <Pillsbury>. we have a. <laughs> were there? I take it there were better thieves in the apple bottom game. Well, yeah, the master thief, but he's gone now. Wait, 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 what? What about the boss? Where's the boss? Uh... He points over to the skeleton that's in crumbled all the way over here on the floor. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, well. All right. Okay, um, so we are the owners of this. <laughs> yeah. Um well okay, so as long as Thacko sits on it, it's good. Yeah, but yeah, we got Thacko sit there for the rest of the adventure. Um, where, I asked Pillsbury about the mirrors in the hallway. What's the deal with them? They were, they're very uncomfortable to look at. Oh, yeah. That's just to confuse people if they're on their way or on their way out of the boss's house. Hey, uh, did you look in his room? Well, we're going to look. Yes, we're going to. Where, where, where's his room at? It's right there. Oh, is it, oh. we want those doors? Okay, yeah. so right. we, we yeah, yeah, we walk over there and yeah, we'll start looking. Okay, uh I'm gonna check the door for traps though. Okay, so uh yeah, uh there's no traps on the door, and so you two guys are leaving Thacko sitting on this thing. You figure out what you're going to do, right? Um, I'm going to stand at the doorway, and I'm going to let Sorian go. I'm going to keep an eye on Thacko and keep an eye on Pillsbury. Well, Pillsbury was coming with you. Okay. All right, that's how he's doing it. That's how he's rolling, right? Uh, you come in this room. kind of looks like this. It's got a desk. Obviously, a bed. Whoa. It's too far. There we go. Okay. Got a desk. Got a bed. Different things. I have Pillsbury kind of walks in here. And he goes, maybe you should go through his stuff, see if you can find anything. That's okay. I, uh, so I go up and, and I, uh, I backstab Pillsbury. <laughs> okay, roll. Okay. Well, All oh, right. God. He just, I just iced the little guy. Okay, go ahead, hit him. Okay, I, uh, I had armor class of four, but I get a plus four to that, so it'd be an armor class of zero. Okay, yeah, you definitely got him. I can't believe you're hurt poor. Th what feels right to you? Oh my well, god! Well, no, I just, I just have a bad feeling about him. <laughs> I rolled, I rolled an eight on my dice, so a nine, so that's eighteen points of damage. Oh yeah, you killed poor Pillsbury. He goes ah, and he falls to the ground dead. Yeah, I, I, I just had a bad, I just had a bad feeling about him. Oh. You had a bad yeah. feeling? Yeah, I, I, I just, he looked at me weird, and I, I had a bad feeling about Pillsbury. Trust your okay, guy. So we, I mean, yeah, <laughs> I, I just did. Gone. Okay. All right. And uh, we, we're going to start looking so, through them. 
Yeah. Yeah. But we could have left Pillsbury on top of the box. <laughs> or, or, yeah. Oh yeah, we can't we can't put him back up in his hiding place and just yeah. what with, with the box. <laughs> just put him back up on the wall. See if anybody <laughs> noticed this. Okay, uh yeah, this kind of messed up. All right. Wolford's gonna um um bless Pillsbury and um Pillsbury. <laughs> it's sorry. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Got that got that done. All right, what are you doing now? And um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna search this this place. Um, there's is that, a desk, yeah, is that a chest? A is that a chest or a desk? Uh, it's a desk, and there is a chest there. Yep. All right. Uh oh. You might want to look for traps on the chest. As okay. Wolford steps away. <laughs> Wolford, make sure he doesn't put, turn his back to Sorian. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, just, I will never I will never turn my back on that guy. Again. <laughs> Stabs people around. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Let's see if you see anything. Um, it doesn't appear that you see anything that's a trap or trap like orientation on this uh, chest. Nice. Uh, you open it up, I take it. Yes. Sorry, I I, I, I couldn't hear you guys for a second. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. There's a, a suit of ink black leather armor. Oh. Yeah. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll I'll take it. I'll pick it up. All right, it's it looks like it's plus one leather armor. How's that? Hang? Yeah. All right. Nice. And you also there's, also, there's also another weird item in there. There's there's a boomerang. A boomerang. A boomerang. Dude. Well, you take the armor, and I'll take the boomerang. Yeah, I can use okay, the boomerang. So Okay, so yeah, so what what's what's the armor again? Plus one leather black armor. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, well it's the boss's room. Okay. Nice. There's yeah. a scroll in there too. Oh, okay. Well we'll look at the scroll. Is it a uh, cleric scroll or magic user scroll? It is a uh uh I don't know. Are you reading it? Um, I'm not going to read it. I just want to look at it to see if it's clerkish. Mm. It's not. I'm not going to. Because if it's a magic user scroll, then yeah, okay. it's just a. Uh, it just looks like a magic user scroll. Okay, yes, gotcha. It does so I'm not. Hey, does this really... does this armor still have the plus five percent to hide in shadows? Which armor? This this black leather armor, the one he got her yeah. earlier. Oh no, that one, the one you have, or the one that you got, the one I got, the one you just got now. Oh, it's just plus one magic armor. Okay, I guess you have to make decisions. Gosh, it's so hard. It's so hard when you're. <laughs> well, not. you got a th a thief can maybe start to read some of that spell. But I don't know if you can be able to cast it. So not till what I say. Wait, I'm level. I'm level four. No, actually, I wait. Is it oh, level yeah. four when I can read that stuff? Or Ooh, I don't am know. I thinking another system? Here, I'm gonna. Oh. Pull up, thief. Yes, I have an eight percent chance to read that. Eight? Nice. 80 percent. Whoa! Oh my God! Really? Okay, so I'm gonna look at it and, and see if I can decipher that. And I'm hoping okay. that it's wizard lock. <laughs> okay, so really? here we go. Twenty-four percent. Nice. Oh my God, uh, it's got two spells on there. You can only cast one of them. You gotta decide. Right? Limited wish. <laughs> what? Yes, limited wish. Right? Or the or the other one is and you gotta decide whether or not you wanna which one you want to pick here. Uh it is a hold portal. Indefinite. Ooh. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait. So can hold portal be used on a like a lock on the chest, or is it just on doors? Or uh... 
I think it could be used on a lock. Yeah, depends on what you want to do. Limited wish. Old world. I the the limited wish. I mean, that's. I mean, dude, that's like ninth. Yeah, that's like high level stuff, dude. I think we should try the whole portal on that and use limited wish for. I don't know. It's yeah, no, I would, I would do the, yeah, if you do, if, if, if you do the whole portal, I mean, it'll uh, last only two to six turns, um, but at least that's two to six turns. Okay. Yeah, that, that doesn't really offer a permanent solution, does it? I, well, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe it, the, this is a... It says it magically affects the portal just as it were securely closed or normally locked. The effect lasts two to six turns. Yeah. Hmm. What do you want to do? Pil you got a dead Pillsbury on the field. Okay. Um, I picked Pillsbury's pockets to see if he uh, has anything useful on him. He might have the key on uh, Yeah. He's got a key. I he does? Yes, he does. Oh, okay. So I take the key. Okay. And I show it to. It does uh, not go Robert. to the music chest. Oh. It goes to something else. But he has a key. Nice. It says one on it. Oh. Okay. We have this. Um, dash x x x x x dash two and all right so but a key with one okay. yes that's gonna come in handy all right well um is there anything else in the chest uh just that two things leather armor and the boomerang and the scroll i guess that was three things um well here's the thing with the limited wish the limited wish um may last more than two to six turns i mean so if we, right. if we did if we did the limited wish it would it would help um if, again it might last longer no you're right then i i think that's what we, that, i think that's what we should do i can't think of anything else okay all right so, cast that. And make the wish that this this would be locked. And what what key did this? What key did I say? Pillsbury had it has a number one on it. You said it had number yeah. one on it. Now he already has a one. There's you have the other key. So we already have the other key. Got the other one labeled two when you went into the great hall. You already got that one. Yeah. Yeah, you have both keys. You have both keys. Okay, cool. All right, cool. So, and do, do either one of the keys fit the lock box? That is such a, it's a huge key. It's a key almost like for a door. It doesn't go to yeah. like a little music box. No. Gotcha. Just, it's like about the size of the music box. So, no. Gotcha. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, so let's, so let's do the limited wish, Chuck. Okay. All right. We'll uh, take it out. And I, uh, my limited capacity, will read the incantation or the runes on the scroll. Well, we're gonna go next to the music box. <laughs> yeah. So you're uh, reading wish. the limited wish spell. Yeah. Okay. I wish, I wish, that this music box would remain locked permanently. <sighs> the scroll crumbles after reading it. Okay. Uh oh, this is not good. Did you just read a cursed scroll? I mean, did you just read that scroll? Um, I read an actual scroll, not a cursed scroll. <laughs> uh, just uh, just to just to clarify. 
Um, yeah, I read an actual scroll, John. Um, <laughs> let me guess. I'm turning into an ostrich. <laughs> so uh, right now, uh, the, the box just seems to stop moving. Oh. Okay. Um, is the box locked now? Or I know Thacko has to get off of it. Okay, Thacko, okay. get off of it. Okay. Right. Uh, he gets off of it. The box is locked. Nice. Nice. Yes. It works. All right. We're okay. gonna go investigate that other room over there. This one? Yeah. Okay, now this is weird. I usually you shouldn't be able to see what's in there, and I don't know if we're gonna do this, but I will read what it says, but just tell you <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna do this. Okay. This small room smells of grease and iron. A bicycle and a set of wrenches sit in the middle of an oil-stained floor. Then it has a gray box on the side. A bicycle? If you don't want a bicycle in your medieval fantasy game, replace it with a locked adamantium birdcage holding the Guildmaster's pet infant red dragon named Huffy. Aggressive board, well-fed from all the bugs. And then it says you really should consider adding a bicycle to your game. And then it's got a picture, if you can see, of a goblin riding a bicycle. <laughs> okay. You guys see a bicycle okay. sitting on a stand right in the middle of the room. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so so we wouldn't right know what a bicycle is, right? Or like no, would we, we have no oh. idea what a bicycle is. You ever seen one before? It's that part the, of medical fantasy. God, it's yeah. an what, what the heck is this? It's a bench have, made by some weird quote unquote wizard. It's crazy. By the Baron of Zeus, what is this? <laughs> it's a crazy thing. I have no idea. Um, well, well, so so we def so we trapped the bug in the box, right? But there were still other rooms that we didn't go in, and there were some that we think that we don't want to go in because they were rabid ferrets. <laughs> And we yeah. don't think there's any – we're not sure, though, if there's any living creatures. Oh, here's yeah. a big question. Once we put the, the, the golden scarab back in the box, are there still bugs on that carpet, or do the bugs disperse? Ooh. They just start moving towards the walls, like trying to look for cracks in the walls to escape. Oh, so here's the thing. Can I go clean the bugs out of my armor and put my armor back on? You sure can. All right. Yeah. Shake I'm going to do that. They're not biting you anymore, anything. Yeah. Just kind of, I, obviously, they're not like going rogue or whatever it is. Yeah. Nice. All right. Um, so fish guts. Um, is fish guts still there? Right there. Yeah. Um, I, I asked fish guts, are there any other living members of the Apple Bottom gang? He's just standing there, kind of staring at you. I take that kind of rocking a... back and forth. <laughs> so, so John, look, okay. I, um, since this is not something I've ever seen before, can can I do um, an intelligence check or some kind of roll to make me think? You know, maybe I think I get on what's that your, thing. Or, what's your eye intelligence? It's not very high. Um, it's a nine. <laughs> Um, is it, you know, like, like what I think, you give it a, go give it a roll. See if you can roll below your nine. So eight or below. You got okay. a good dexterity. I rolled a 10. Okay. So You're a little I, confused. Uh, I, you get yeah, next like, to it. You uh, push it back and forth. You go, I guess we put stuff on it. It's kind of like a cart. Yeah. Like a cart. Yeah. But you guys, yeah, push a, it push up. it's a weird cart this, with only two wheels. So you can nab it. Yeah. So Navigate it down the hallway. You kind of see the pedals move, but it looks really kind of weird. Maybe yeah. given enough time, you would know how to ride it. But right now, it's just kind of bizarre. Yeah, it's one of the worst looking wheelbarrows you've ever seen in your life. Yeah, I, I just yeah. kick it over. I was like, "This is stupid." Yeah, what a weird idea. 
That's oh. the dumbest thing they've ever made. Well, yeah. You kick it, it falls over and clangs on the ground. Apple bar. Right? Okay. And right. then the bottom wheel just starts spinning. So wait a minute. If his bedroom's over there, how come there's a big double bed in there that room? Oh, I don't want to know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know what he did for a hobby. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I think Fish Guts should give us a tour of the rest of this place. Um, yeah. I, good, I asked Fish Guts, um, how did they get in and out of the harbor? Oh, he starts to walk. All right. We're going to follow Shakily. him. Sounds good. <laughs> we have these two big we have these keys we have um key one and key two yes sir it's gonna give you a laid land just think my map. Just think my map. Just think my map. He takes you where you've already been. And we can't okay. see that. We're seeing the adjusting the map. I know. That's important. Okay. I'm just doing that on purpose, right? Gotcha. Just think the map. Just think the map. Um, he kind of walks. He walks until he stops in front of a door and he can't move anymore. So I'm moving everybody where they should be. Boom. And where are you two guys? Oh, you're over here playing with this stuff. Okay, boom. And boom. Let's take fish guts up there, too. Boom. Okay. Wait. Here. 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 Okay. All right. Uh, here we go. It takes you back to the room that has the lead coffin and there's yeah. the bones of the dinosaur right. and all that stuff. Yeah. He takes you all the way down to a door and just kind of stands there staring at the door like that, expecting you to open it. Um is it locked? Uh no, he doesn't have any hands to open it. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, well, we're gonna uh, you might want to look for traps, Chuck. I agree, John. Okay, give it a roll. Okay, uh, I rolled a sixty-eight. Oh, you don't see any traps at all. All right. Well, let's try opening it and duck walking in. Yes. Okay, duck in. You go into this one thing. Looks like a big sand room. Kind of takes you in there. All you guys just kind of follow this skeleton with no hands or no mouth, right? Comes walking in. He walks you across the sandy room. Looks like this, right? There's all sorts of biting midges that kind of keep jumping up on your legs and stuff like that. Not enough to make it nuances. Then he kind of keeps walking. He walks all the way down here, and then it's there's like a canoe or a boat or somewhat down here at the bottom. Okay. They can go through you guys down to this area right here. Yeah. So Take a close look. It leads right out to water, but you notice that one of the boats are missing. Oh. You came in. This is how they get out, yeah. Yeah, but maybe like somebody ran with the boat to get away um oh uh, and so this is like a little island peninsula and then is it are we in like in a cave yeah if you go this way this goes out to the water right there oh i got you right this is low tide right here that's why all these things are up here i got gotcha. you okay um i i look into the uh the different boats sorium Oh, looks, okay. uh, checks out different boats. Yeah, uh, from what you could tell, there is. Um, you hear sounds of the surf. It's audible. Little tiny crabs are scampering. But there's no boat. There's nothing in the boat except for the oars and stuff that you see. Nothing. Okay. 
Um, so this is how they got their stuff in. Um, should we take one of the boats and see if, like, well, here's the thing. Did they take, well, can we walk over and look at the surf? Do we see any ships out there or through the cave? Is that, is there, do these boats go to a big ship? Uh, well, you're going to go out here and take a look? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Okay. As you go out there and look out, you see no ships or anything out on the horizon at all. Hmm. All right. Well, because here's, here's my concern. I don't know if we got all the gang members. I'd hate for somebody to come in and... The only thing you do see from here is you see what appears to be a little bit of smoke. I mean, from an angle, you have to kind of actually move out in the water in order to get ready. And you can tell, like, there's some building far off on one of the sides. It'd be hard, like, you get there by water, but it'd be hard to kind of, like, transverse it by walking this way would be very, very difficult. Right. Just based on the fact that, you know, you have to go out to the water to go there. So, yeah. Well, I think we should take one of the boats and and um, some of the canoes and try to see if we can find out where the other canoe went. So, real quick, how do we know that a canoe is missing? I, I, I guess we see drag marks. Yeah, you see that, drag marks, and there's like the area of depression where one of them was. Okay, 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 cool. That's I mean, that's just cluing it in. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I, I I think let's do it. I like that. Yeah, I okay. I want to uh, destroy all the evil, but not fish guts because fish guts is nice. You know, but you taking fish guts with you? Yes. O only if only if he wants to come. Hey, fish guts, <laughs> you, you want to come? That's it. He's a skeleton. Like he cares. All right. All right. He thinks you're like maybe one of the apple gang or something yeah, yeah so he just follows along he gets in the canoe with you nice this guy's okay. little helmet's cool. all crooked he just yeah. sits there yeah with his no mouth no teeth uh -huh. all right so he's kind of sitting you guys start oaring off into the distance yeah. okay um uh yes this boom okay uh use your head as a tiller fish guts yeah so you guys kind of start going out along surf um first it's kind of gentle you go out a little further and then all of a sudden you get this idea of um oh, let's see if i can find a nice picture of this arr, 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 arr. yes oh cool all right. Um, so the, the further you go out and away from all this stuff, okay, mm -hmm. um, you oh, get to uh, see more of the. Where is this thing? There's what Jack. happened? He left. Yeah, uh, my computer period periodically freezes up. I, I'm not sure why. It's been an issue I've had for a while. Really. Yep. Welcome back. I think I think we should keep fish guts around until I can destroy skeletons, and then I'll just destroy them. That's so dark. Why did he do anything wrong? Well, he'll he'll get the opportunity to serve for good for a while. I mean, just like, hey, uh, just like Pillsbury, he he did his yeah. good deed. Yeah, you start going along, going along, and you come up kind of off to the shore. You see one house off into the distance and you come to a town from what you can see it's just uh looks like just a, a simple town right you kind of pull your canoe up to the shore or the boat up to the shore kind of get out start walking this is, is kind of the lay of the town canoe? is there another canoe that looks like oh there's canoe? several yeah. boats of the town yeah. sitting there yeah there's several around there you hear people milling about and talking and stuff this looks like okay. just like a town it's just like you know and there's a there's a sign like on where the pier says "Welcome to Salt Marsh." Salt Marsh. <laughs> nice. Okay, um, 
I, I, well, I uh, Sorian goes up to the first person that he sees okay. and asks him, uh, have, has a stranger come through here recently from the shore? And we and we and left. then he sits there, he looks at you, goes, beside yourself, and the guy gruffly walks away from you. Whoa. All right. Ooh. We left fish guts with in the in the canoe, by the way. He's guarding the canoe. He's guarding the canoe. You got a skeleton <laughs> guarding. Did you push him so he's laying down, not sitting yes. up in it? Yeah, right. he's he's laying down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the guy kind of walks off to the bar, you know, sitting there. And there's like a nice bar there. Um, it's just kind of like a shield that place. And okay. it's not anything that's like it's it looks like some every ordinary looking place where people sit around and drink okay. it's not like it's well, like I, you know, oh some unique location go ahead what you were saying okay um mike do you want to go in there see if we can talk to to a few people yeah i, sure. I think i i an inn uh somewhere to sleep um i'm down 11 hit points anywhere i can rest up um yeah, yeah. sure yeah, sure i'm sure. gonna order me an elven ipa Okay, they do uh, have one there. It's a really nice one. Tastes a little, it tastes piney, but you know, then again, what do you expect? The kind of woodsy taste to it, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. order the better dwarven ale. Okay, <laughs> you guys sit around, you know, kind of chilling, listening to things, and then you know, people kind of now and then they're all sitting there, kind of you know, and now and then they'll look over and go Ugh, like that when they see strangers kind of ignoring you most of the time. Um, finally, the barmaid comes over and sits down. Her name's uh, Katrina. She walks over and she says, um, Ah, out of towners. Yeah, we get them now and then. What can I do you for? Uh, food. Um, would ale? Great start. Yeah. yeah. What oh. do you have in the spit? Well, we have a pig that's been roasting. It's probably oh, but... getting picked over pretty good, but there's plenty of still if you're hungry. Mm -hmm. She goes, hmm. We've been seeing a lot of movement around here. A lot of people coming in and out of this thing for some reason. But, uh, yeah, you, you three gentlemen look kind of different. Has anyone look like else from here. Uh, that's different been through well, here? Well, like... <laughs> we don't see your types. Two dwarves and an elf. Right. Mostly uh, don't have these kind of unique characters such as yourselves here. And you look around the whole bar area and there is no other uh demi races around here this is you guys are it you guys are the show right. yeah that's why they keep looking at you and scoffing a little bit and, and uh, how many, just yeah for show uh sorry just he does this a couple of times you know he, he, <laughs> you know, he, he just you know he just kind of goes like he, he does kind of this like arnold kind of poses you know like uh, how many people are are in the bar <laughs> about eight nine i mean there's and how just expensive are the uh how expensive are the uh drinks i don't know how much money you got well this seemed like two silver pieces for an <laughs> ale kind of thing i mean uh, yeah yeah uh, all i have is four gold pieces so i can't buy buy around um all right well we're just gonna get uh, something to eat and um ask them if uh they if they also have any rooms available rooms Mm -hmm. always... Hey now, Mike. Mike, yeah. I've got two hundred and fifty. I've got two hundred fifty-two gold pieces. Oh, do wow. you now? Oh, nice. Um, I mean, it's on my character sheet, I don't remember from what, but I do. Whoa! Yeah. You're got, one of the rich ones. Yeah, I, I've got. I got four gold pieces. <laughs> wow! Yeah, well, I, I, I happily <laughs> buy my friend around, and I asked oh. the guy next to me if he wants to buy us around. Mm. <clears throat> yeah if you wanted to buy a round that's fine um the guy kind of looks at you a little bit is a little confused about something he says uh why are, what are you boys doing in town that's the bar i'm sorry his name uh of roberts comes walking over he goes why are you why are you boys in town what, what's going on here uh i it's a long story uh we were we were seek we were deep in a dungeon and there were these bugbears and they killed his brother and we tried to kill the bugbears but the bugbears chased us off then we went in, and then 
he became really, really ugly. Um, and then we went to see a fairy, and then the fairy then made him very, very pretty. My God, he's pretty. Doesn't look he's pretty now. But then we had to go kill this beast out in the marshes, and we killed the beast in the marshes. But then some apple bottom gang people took the treasure. Mm -hmm. So we followed we them to their hideout. Then we decimated the Apple Bottom Gang. So right now, <laughs> we are chasing the Apple Bottom Gang. We think some of them might have come through here. But I swear on more than I'm going to smash every Apple Bottom Gang's head in. And Aye. Yeah, sorry in here. <laughs> he doesn't like the little happenings that they were with the Apple Bottom <laughs> Gangs. My God, he does not like them. <laughs> but anyway... Um, they also had goblins. I don't like goblins. Do you like goblins? Because if you like goblins, if you like goblins, I don't like you. Yeah. He says, "Look, I, I hate to tell you this, but uh, after hearing your story, the more I think about it, maybe you should go over to the sultry siren. I, I don't think I can serve your type in here. My type. Well, I." I yeah, my type. I was like, have you seen my guns? And, and, and sorry, it does this. See that? Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't know. I I have a feeling that I, I'll be honest with you. I just don't feel comfortable. Yeah. Uh, you're you're more of you're, you're more the clientele of the, the guy next door. I think you, I think you'll get along a lot better with him. I'm just saying, like right now, you're making some of my patrons feel a little uncomfortable. Are your patrons friends of the Apple Bottom Gang? Yeah, uh, we don't. You know what? Ah, 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 ah. Let's just and say I, that I, I, I'm, I'm mimicking him as he does that. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure you are. Uh, <laughs> I just think you're probably better off just, you know. I tell you what. I, I, the food, the drink was on the house. Why don't you just mosey across uh, a little farther down? Uh, I'll, I'll show you where it is, and you can go down and hang out. And and, and trust me, uh, no hard feelings. How, how about that? No, They'll no get you a nice room there. They'll take care of you. Sultry Bl siren. And, Blessings and, uh, to your house. Yeah, you got to talk to a guy named yes. Swain Gibbons. He'll, he'll set you up. He'll... He'll be more more into your story. What do you say? Swain Gibbons. Yeah. Hi. How do you well, feel about that? That sounds good. All right. And I Daddy. just look at him. I say, we'll be back. <laughs> All right. So, so you leave. You, you kind of cross the street. And sure enough, you see a sign for the sultry uh, siren. You walk across the street, walk in, and uh, you see a dude. He. he She's, he's cleaning out a beer glass. He's kind of looking at you. He's got tattoos all over him. He's He looks like he smells as bad as he appears. He's sitting there the whole time just kind of looking at you. Giving you an ugly look. And he says, hmm. Does this place look... Hey, what, can I, what can I do? Oh, it's got all sorts of freaks of nature in there. Somebody has allegedly a mermaid on a, on a leash, and you could just tell it's a monkey <laughs> with the bottom of a fish stitched to it. it just, it's a freak show and a half. He sees you in there, kind of has one eye up, and he goes, oh, you look like honest paying customers. Like that. He kind of gives you the look, up and down look. You need a room? We sell seafood here. Three silver pieces. Rum's five. Lodging, five for the night. That's in the common room. But if you want your own personal room for the whole crew, that's five gold pieces one night. Uh, I assume that you're looking for a place to say. I'm sorry if I impose too much. <clears throat> yes, you come highly recommended. Oh, uh, did I shave? No, is, is, it, is his name Shane? Is that the guy's name? Oh, no, no, no. My name is Swain Gibbons. Swain, Swain. Swain. Gibbons. Yes. Are you Swain Gibbons? Yes, I sure am. All right. All right. Um, we're hungry, we're tired, and we want some dwarven ale. Oh, well, I see what I can do for you. She turns around, and sure enough, he, uh, He's setting you up in a nice little house, a room. Comes over and he uh, says, All right, there's a table in the room. There's a bed. There's another bed. And there's like a cot. And they bring food up to you. They have like, oh, bronze, all sorts of stuff. Kind of setting you up. 
Steve wow. Crab, Surfer Turf. He's kind of like, he says, says, yeah, you guys, uh, you add a little color to the place. I mean, you're down there, you see a whole bunch of, it looks like pirates, and sea shanty place that looks kind of pretty out yeah. of the ordinary. The other place looks like farmers compared to these guys, right? So in the process of being there, he's like, mm, you boys wouldn't be looking for a job, would you? I always. Maybe. Um, yes. Would that job be destroying the Apple Bottom Gang? He looked around and goes, oh, Apple Bottom Gang. No. Uh, well, actually, now that you're talking about it, I heard they got a music box, and if you're able to get it, bring it back, it's worth 2,000 gold pieces. What? I, it's from a wizard yeah. from across the way. They stole it. He wants it back. That's the word on the street. So we, if you want to deal with the apple bottom gag, that's what I would do. I we know of a music box. You do. We do. Wow. I I um we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe we brought the music box. We left no, it there. You no. <laughs> left it there. So, All right. Swain, hold our rooms and our yes. drink. We'll be huh? back. Are you going to come back? All right. Uh, yeah. Well, okay. I I, I flip I flip Swain uh, a couple of gold pieces. Oh, a couple of gold pieces. Yeah. Five. Five total. Five for five for the night. You're holding the room yeah. for the night. All right. Yeah. Okay. I fair enough. Two on the on the way out. And okay. we go back to uh, Fish Guts. Okay. So uh, Fish Guts is laying down in the boat. Yeah. <laughs> Aye. Okay. Fish Guts. Aye. Aye. Lead us. Lead us. We're going to row. You lead us back to the back to the cave. All Wait, right. So he holds his <laughs> pump out in the direction of which you're supposed to travel. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys go carousing about trying yeah. to get back to the. And sure enough, you get back to the cave. Yeah. Right. We go to the um, music box. All right. As you walk through the thing, you don't run anything calamities. Nothing bad happens, all right? Yeah. You pick the magic box back up, right? Yeah. Then you guys go back out to the boat. Yeah. That goes still in their boat like this. All right. Uh, this time, this time, this time we tell Fish Cuts to stay here and mind the store. Oh, okay. You're leaving him here? Okay. All right. Yeah. So you leave th fish, fish gets to the boat and you guys kind of travel on out. That's kind of yeah. know where you're going. Okay. It's starting to get darker. You show back up and um, you're back in the town, right? Yeah. And eventually you get back into um, main area, right? Yeah. You come uh, you, you come up and approach this time to the to main dock before you weren't there before. And you kind of mm -hmm. walk the dock our way around. You cool. got your little magic box with you. You kind of make your move. Yeah, but we're and, not telling anybody we got it. We're just no, gonna. Yeah, I figure not. Yeah. You come out. Everything's kind of shut down now because it's night. This is the market area. You kind of walk back up. Sure enough, this is the the sultry siren right here. You yeah. end up back in there, and sure enough, you run into your buddy again. He's still washing that same cup. <laughs> <laughs> we say, um, I ask him. If he could, I want to try another one. <laughs> we're gonna stay the night, but can he introduce us to the wizard? A wizard, uh, you could put a word out, you probably come tomorrow morning. Yeah, if you could do that, that'd be great. Okay, I could do that. Why do you have something for him? Well, I think we know where it is, but we just want to talk to him. Okay, yeah, fair maybe enough. we do, maybe we don't sway. <laughs> oh, I got it, I got it. All right, so he sits there and he kind of like, um, fair enough. He turns around, he's cleaning, and he sends you back up to your room, and yeah. We're gonna break there for right now, and then tomorrow right. you're gonna uh, do your little interaction with the, uh, not tomorrow, the next time we get together. Yeah, interaction with the wizard. But uh, yeah, you are officially into the black. I just got this. Whoa! So, uh, yeah, so, dude, like we're bouncing all over the place. <laughs> well, this is you awesome. Can go back to the other one. I have a problem with that, but since you guys got in the boat, kind of takes you this direction. So I, I have to put you somewhere. So this well, is where you are now. Dude, that's this is, awesome. Okay, so yeah, you're you're moved somewhere else. Of course, you were gonna be here, but right. I figured that you guys were looking looking to go pick a fight, so, <laughs> <laughs> so, so I had to take you somewhere else. Uh, uh, this one works too. This no, this 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 works. 
I just I can't believe that we left the the music box, but like, but we did. We, we, we did. Never said we did. I was gonna let you. I was gonna give you the uh, the out. And let you go pick it up if you. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be funny if we went back there and it's gone. Apple well, bottom well, gang well, strikes, well. Again. <laughs> strikes again. Strikes <laughs> again. Yeah. Well, that's true. That would be horrible. That's, that right. would be horrible. Oh my gosh! Well, before I go to bed, I'm gonna cast um, cure light wounds on myself. Definitely, we'll roll it out. See what you get. I rolled a six, so six plus one is seven. So now I'm down four. So that means Thacko and I are both down four. What 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 are you down, Chuck? Okay, let's see here. I am only down three. All right. So well, you're gonna heal. Three. You get to heal one hit point a day. So that'll bring whatever it is. You guys are all up one more hit point. Okay. All right. You'll overwinter this experience. All right. So that means Thacko and I are down three. Okay. Thacko. Nice. I gotta tell you something funny. Um okay. 